boom, there it is. All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, you guys. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. I'm pumped. I'm pumped for this vlog. I can't do that thing anymore where I put all of the timestamps up here, but they should be. They should be. If my main man, Jeremy V, is in the chat, which I've already seen him in the chat, I know he's there. My main man, Jeremy V, he puts all the timestamps in a nice little convenient comment right there at the top of the video, and I'll pin it there. Usually it takes a little bit. It takes like 24 hours for YouTube to go through this whole like processing of your stream, and then they put the video up, and then they like notify you, and then the comment, it'll be there. The timestamps will be there, but I have a real full vlog planned out for you guys tonight. We have have, I believe, all of the segments this week, every single segment, and I would like to spend a little bit of extra time this week on a little bit of news and advocacy. We're going to be, we're going to be talking about, uh, well, we're going to be talking about people being hospitalized because of vaping. Can you believe this? People being hospitalized for vaping. It's mass hysteria in the streets. We're going to get down to it. We're going to talk about it, but we also have a beer. We have, you guys, we have a beer tonight that is just a beer that it, it felt like the right night. It just felt like the right night to have this beer. This is a very, very, very rare beer. Ve I mean, insanely rare beer that I have been saving for probably, I don't know, four years, five years, maybe a little bit longer than that, but we'll get there when we get there. I'm really excited about this beer. We're going to have a lot of news and advocacy. As I said, there's going to be uh, a retro vaping. Got it right here. Uh, okay, yeah, I got it right here. We also have a very random liquid tasting as well, and this liquid tasting is a truly, truly random liquid tasting. I blindly went into my closet and started just opening up boxes with liquids in it and I was just rummaging around and I just picked one out and the 60 mil and I put it on my desk and I went, okay, looks like we're tasting this thing. So we got, we got that thing to taste. We do have a whole bunch of mail as well to go through. Some mail, some non-vape mail, some vape mail in there. I'm not 100% sure what's in there. But before we get too far into this vlog, welcome vaping Bubba. I'm glad you finally made it to a stream. Enjoy yourselves. There's good times over here. But the first thing that I wanna do is that's my favorite thing. It's one of my new favorite things where I like to hear from one of my subscribers. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a video this week. This isn't a video, that one thing. This is a text only, that one, that one, that one thing. It's, it's an email. It was an email that I thought was cool enough and, and critical enough and important enough and, and something I wanted to share so it's replacing the video, but uh, this is that one thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers, and today we're hearing from Lance, okay? Quick little email here. Hey Nick, it's Lance from St. Almont, Louisiana, AKA Tattooed for Life One on my Instagram. Uh, my wife, Christy, and I have been smoke-free for about four years now and have been vaping since. We watch your vlog every week. I am a huge fan. I recently had a heart cath done and found out that all my arteries are way smaller than usual due to smoking for almost 30 years. While I was having this done, I went to cardiac arrest and was revived. Thank goodness. You and others have been my heroes for showing me all that I need to know about vaping, getting off of the cancer sticks. They are unsure if or when I would need a valve replacement in the future. Vaping has become a lifestyle and have met awesome friends along the way. So if we could get a shout out, that would be awesome. Of course, I'm going to give you a shout out before I get to your by the way here because your by the way is my favorite part, my favorite part of this email. So first of all, Lance and... Christy, Lance and Christy over there in St. Almanot, Louisiana. Boom, you are shouted out. Bump that fist with authority. By the way, he goes on to say, by the way, my cardiologist said to keep vaping because it's better for you. Thanks for all you do, fellow vapes. And as always, let's keep on vaping. His cardiologist told him to keep vaping because it's better for you. I like your cardiologist. I like your cardiologist a lot. I, I just like that person. Lance, 
Good luck in the future. I wish you all the best with all of the medical things you're dealing with. And I'm just so thankful that your cardiologist told you to keep on vaping because it's better for you. That's something that, uh, that's something you just don't hear a lot now in, in, in rational people in medicine, is it? You just, you just don't hear it. So um, thank you. Thank you for sending that in. And if anybody else out there has a, like an email or a video or something you wanted to shoot, you want to tell your story, you want to talk about your gear, you want to shoot the shit, you want to shout yourself out, shout your shop out, shout out whatever, your favorite YouTube reviewers, your aunt, your dog, your whatever, send them on over, nick at groomgreen.com, just mark it, you know, that one thing. Uh, it is my new favorite thing, and it's been my new favorite thing for, uh, well, for a while now, it's been my new favorite thing. It's just my new favorite thing. I I'm ready. I'm ready to get into this. We're, we're, it's time for beer, and I'm really excited about it. This is a really rare beer, so let's just, uh, boosh. So the beer we're going to be tasting today, if the, if <laughs> was the, did that give it, was that too much? Was the laugh too much? I feel like the laugh was a, a little bit too much. Um, I'm really excited about this. The beer that we're tasting today, and first of all, welcome to everybody in the chat and welcome everybody on the replay. I hope you got something great that you're vaping tonight and I hope you got something great that you're drinking tonight as well. And the thing that I am drinking tonight, I'm just going to put this out there. Tonight's the night. It's finally the night to, to taste my other bottle of Three Floyd's Vanilla Bean Dark Lord. This is just one of the most rare beers on earth, just on earth ever in America. This is Vanilla Bean Dark Lord, highly coveted, highly sought after, world-class rated beer. This is a beer that I wasn't planning on drinking soon, but when we moved... A lot of my beer ended up in like weird different places and this is just one of the bottles that just ended up in the fridge. So it's kind of been sitting in the fridge even though it was meant to be, you know, being cellared. Like I wasn't planning on drinking this for a while, but every time I open the fridge, I just saw it. I just saw this Viking, this dark lord looking at me and it's like, drink the beer, Nick. Just drink it. Just take it. Open it. Drink it. So... So tonight's the night, Dark Lord. Tonight is the night of Three Floyd's Vanilla Bean Dark Lord. I have no idea where my Luchador bottle opener went. It seems to just, just be gone, thankfully. Bogan, for the, the, the little poppy finger gun. Thankfully, Bogan, for the win, sent this along with his, uh, you know, it's in the blotto. It's in the blotto, RTA. There's a wax... Uh, cap on this oh and see i'm just getting wax off of it now wax cap on this oh there it is at least it's not a cork like if it was a cork we would definitely not be tasting vanilla bean dark lord today i would just call an audible and be like nope two corks in a row not okay two corks in a row not okay now let's read a little bit before we jump into this from beer advocate this is a russian imperial stout it's a 15 percenter, bro. It's a 15 percenter, so tonight should be uh, really, really fun. A demonic Russian-style imperial stout brewed with coffee, Mexican vanilla, and Indian sugar. This beer defies description. Available one day a year in April at the brewery Dark Lord Day. That's why this beer is so coveted and so sought after because you can only get it one day a year on dark lord day and i've never been to dark lord day i've had subscribers that have gone to dark lord day that's the only reason why this exists in my possession but from what i understand dark lord day is a is a, is a lot of line waiting there's a lot of like you wait in this line to get your ticket to wait in this line to maybe get inside on dark lord day to maybe buy a bottle of vanilla bean dark lord and then they limit you like how many you can buy i'm just i'm grateful i'm grateful and thankful that i've had the opportunity to have this beer before in the past and i'm and i'm thankful and grateful for the opportunity to have this beer now so let's just let's just do the damn thing yeah it's going to pour 
It's going to pour like motor oil. There's going to be little to no carbonation or effervescence. Look at that. It just pours black like a, like a syrup. That Have you ever seen a darker beer than that? It is. Ju- it looks like a bowling ball. It's just so, so dark. So, so dark. Of course, it's got, you know, thousands of billions of really good reviews all over Beer Advocate. I don't even need to read these. Pours Black, blah, blah, blah. Mocha, molasses, bits of soy sauce. Yep, you get that savory. Or uh, I believe the term is umami. That is the that is the savory uh, dis- flavor descriptor, I believe. At least in coffee, we used to call it an umami flavor, which is kind of like a... Uh, I don't know, soy saucy, savory type of uh, type of flavor. Anyway, I, I've got this poured. In fact, not only do I have the vanilla bean Dark Lord tonight, but I have a, I have, I have a, ta- I have a liquid. I have a liquid. I have my beer liquid, finally loaded up, ready to go to pair with this. So, first things first. Cheers to you guys. Yeah, fucking incredible, incredible beer. This is an incredible, incredible beer. It, it's thick. It's thick in the mouth. It's heavy. It's molassesy. It's dates. It's soy sauce. There's like chocolate cocoa nib characteristics to it. It's so rich and deep. It's just such a deep beer. It's unbelievable. And the mouthfeel of it in your mouth, in your mouth is just thick, thick, thick. feels like you drink a thick beer. I need a spoon for this beer. I need a fork and a knife for this beer. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy fucking fuck. Sorry for the obscenities. I can't think of anything else to say other than holy fucking fuck about this Dark Lord beer. We are also, not to shift gears too quickly, this is something I should have said at the beginning of the program, but we are as well tonight changing up how we do the Super Chats. I'm going to do whatever Super Chats have accumulated in between the segments. I feel like that's the only fair way to do this. I hate waiting till the end to do all the Super Chats because sometimes the people aren't here anymore and they didn't know that when they did the Super Chat and they're just sitting there going, "Why why the fuck isn't Grim Green reading my Super Chat? We're gonna read them. I think after. Uh, I think we're gonna read them after every segment. Should I talk with my hands more? I feel like I've been doing that an excessive amount. Like just particularly tonight, with the talking with the hands, it doesn't make any sense. But you know what I have to pair with this? Look at this. This is a little bit of an old school bottle. This is about. Uh, good lord, maybe two, maybe a year and a half of a worth of steeping right here in this. Yig. Yig is my Yig is my beer liquid, and I've been without it for a while. Just a while. So what I decided to do is because I was really excited about this vlog for no reason in particular. It's just a, a random Thursday in August, but I've been really excited about this vlog. Dark Lord and Yig. Back together. This is it. This is gonna be the best beer pairing, beer pairing tasting that I think I've ever done. Yig is. Yig is hard to explain. Yig is almost as indescribable as Dark Lord, but they go, they're go they going to go together so effing well. And before I even show you, let's look, at, uh, let's look real quick at how steeped this Yig is. Yeah, that's e-liquid in there, and it is black. It's black like this beer. These are, this is just a match made in heaven right now. That's it. That's it. That's the best beer pairing I've ever done. That's the best beer pairing on earth. They complement each other so well. The Yig actually brings out more sweetness in this. I get some really like low, low like prune type of flavors like prunes and dates and raisins, like those kind of like earthy, earthy flavors. And I wasn't you know, that wasn't super jumping out at me before I did this. Let's do it again. Let's do it again because it's the best thing I've ever had.
Wow. Wow. Kaylee Stewart in the chat says, Dark Lord Day tickets are $180 each, and it's already sold out. Well, am I getting $180 worth of enjoyment from this beer? Shit. Damn near. Damn near, Kaylee. Damn near. I'm going to do this just one more time. That's so good. It's too good. It's so good. It's too good. So I got that. This is from the What I've Been Vaping. It's the Vaporgate Pug. Love the Pug. This is the off roof mesh uh, sub ohm tank with the blackest of black yig liquid in it. And that's the thing. It's so well steeped. It tastes un- godlike. Godlike. It tastes so good. It's just so steeped and it looks black as death and it's going to gunk up these coils like I can't possibly imagine. But right now in this moment, I don't care about that. I just care about this flavor because it's awesome. One more time. Holy crap. That's legitimately like, I think, the best beer pairing I've ever done. That's legitimately like the best beer pairing I may have ever done. Now, the question is, are we going to... mm, Are we going to roll the Super Chat bumper every single time? Are we going to do a Super Chat bumper every single time? I can't do it every single time. We'll just give you a taste. Ready? There you go. That's all you get. Let's do some super chats that happened while I was yammering on. Dominique Andrew Malloy, very, very gracious of you. Samuel Will- Williams, founding father, what's up? Keep on vaping. What's up with you? I'll keep on vaping. Joe, I like you. I like you too, Joe. Voops and V. And Andernach. Andernach in the house? Andernach. I don't know what that means, bro. Uh, Sergio, very gracious of you. Just became a patron. Yo, yo. Let me be the first to say, yo, yo. I'll get you on that Instagram as soon as I can. Cotton Gin, very gracious of you. Cheers to you too, Cotton Gin. Vaping Case. How have you been, Vaping Case? Haven't seen you in a bit. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, buddy. Yeah, appreciate that, Vaping Case. Appreciate that very much. Appreciate that very much. So quick and easy. Let's, let's do that. Let's stick to that. Let's just do the Super Chats like after the segments, like whenever they come in, like, are you guys on board with that? I feel like you guys are on board with that. I feel like I'm on board with that. So right now, what I would like to do now that we have some beer in our system and I'm feeling nice and buzzy. And now that we've done the super chats and now that we've done all this other stuff, let's real quickly. uh, Okay. Real quickly. Let's just talk about the things I've been vaping, which is a lot I have been, uh, I remember last week I was talking about how I didn't like, oh, I didn't really set anything new up and blah, 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 and all this stuff. No, I just, uh, I just went bananas and I got a lot of stuff. First things first, this has been like my, my, my go-to fucking end game daily banger. Uh, Unicorn Vapes 21700 Mac. I don't exactly remember the name of this. Unicorn Vapes. It has a name, and I'm bad with names, but it has a name. It's topped with that Bogan Blotto RTA that just pisses me off to no end because it's so good. It's too good. It's too good, Bogan. That is loaded up with Ben from uh, Mean Old Dog Vapes. What a delicious flavor that is. Now, I'll show you this. That's the Squid Industries double barrel with like my favorite pattern on it of all time. I just love, love, love the way that that looks. It's topped with something I can't show you yet. It's the set, it's one of the prototypes of my future RTA. We have more coming. It's going to be a little bit of a wait. Sorry. But I'm hoping to give Bogan a little bit of a run for his money. Look, these things take time. Good things come to those who wait. I also have a Valerian on top of a Vaporesso Gen for no real reason other than I wanted to taste this liquid that's in it. And it's good. It's grape down under. It's pretty good. Rocking that Wismec Tinkerer 2 kit. I've been really loving this mod, but I recently just paired it up with the uh, sub ohm tank that it is supposed to be paired up with. A little too much airflow on the tank for me, but we'll get to that whenever I do a full review of it. This thing is just beefy and beefy. It's just beefy and beefy. If anybody remembers my Aegis Legend video, and I said beefy probably 
six to 20,000 times. I'll probably say it more about this one because it's beefier. It's beefier than the Aegis Legend. I think that's a... Uh... I don't know. Strawman Head? I think that's Strawman Head. No, that is... I don't know what the hell this is. Mango? Mango, yeah, okay. This is the Kilo Sour Belt series, the Kilo Mango. Eh, I knew I recognized that liquid. Um, also, I decided to get back out my topside recurve dual combo because I had been without my topside for a little bit too long. And as soon as I put a battery in here, I filled up the bottle, I rewicked the recurve dual, filled it up with the duck's nuts. It just, I fell in love with the top side all over again. I can't even, the top side solo, the top side this, this top side, I feel is probably one of the best, if if not categorically the best squonker that just is for sale right now. I just love the crap out of it. I love it way more than the duel. Just give me the top side. Give me that recurve duel on top. Give me ducks nuts on the inside. Boosh. It's so good. Shit, that is good. Um, yeah. Also, that uh, this guy that I can't show you the top. This is the new, uh, I think, Mike. I think Mr. Mike Vapes just put up a video for this. This is the new V200 from Og Vape. The v, VT1.8 something from Og Vape. It's the, it's the sequel to my favorite, one of my favorite regulated mods of all time. Again, I cannot show you what's on top. but it's good. And I may have accidentally posted a picture of it on my Instagram recently, but you're going to have to kind of dig around for that. Still in there with the Falcon kit as well. This has just been a fun little banger. It is a bummer only being an 18650. I'm used to a little bit bigger capacity, you know, in 2019 when we have 27 and 20, 21 700 batteries going back to a single 18650 on this regulated, especially when you're pushing up like 70 watts from it. You just get a crud battery life, but the Falcon King tank still rules. That is Strawman Head on the inside. I think this is the, like the third to the last thing. Now nah, this is like the second to the last thing. Kennedy, Ruby, Continuous Contact. Got a Turk build in here. This is still on that uh, Aqua Element Trinity old-fashioned, old-timey lemonade called Vintage Lemonade. And I love it. It's like... Uh, it's like a lemonade limeade thing. We tasted this last week. Still going strong with it. Loving it. And you know what is hilarious today is basically everything I've picked up in the what I've been vaping has a dead or dying battery in it. That good. Well done. Well done, Nick. Well done. Dead or dying battery. And that's annoying. Also, I can't put this dumb thing down. Not sure if anybody watched my video from uh, you know uh, Monday or Tuesday. I can't I can't stop using this. I literally can't stop using this. I just keep refilling the tank. I've run into a few like weird things with it where the juice doesn't kind of distribute evenly in the pod, but that's not you know that's not a deal breaker. It's easy to get it back to where it needs to go. This is the restricted lung coil head and pff, sick boy and not sick boy, sick boy yeah, sick boy sad boy. Sad Boy Strawberry Jam Cookie is on the inside. So good. So bad. So flavorful. I just love the stupid little Vupu thing. Love it. I can't stop. I can't stop and I will not stop. And then finally, lastly, the one pod system that I'm using right now. It's the UL Urine. It's too good. It's too good of a pod system. I'm going to have a video for it soon, but it's just too damn good. Whoa. Too good. That's too, that pod system is too good. So yeah, that's more or less what I've been vaping. This, all, you know, it always changes. And sometimes I just set up stuff just to, nope, that's not it. One last thing. I found a missing box. Ha! In weeks past, I had been talking about like, 
some something's missing. There's a box or a bag or something missing. I don't know where it is in my office and I've been searching for it. I found them. I found a box that had two Ziploc bags in it. It had all my dead goats in it and it had the Slatra, Slatra RDA, the dual mesh guy from Ambitions Vapor. Topped on top of that UL Soul Keeper. It's pretty rad. I've been I've been enjoying it. It's filled up with straw beezy and a three milligram. It's weird. It's just I it's just weird. It's just bizarre. I still don't know how I feel about this RDA with the mesh in it. It's just weird. It's just a weird RDA. Spending a lot more time with it before I put a video up for it. It's a little bit weird to build. It's a little bit weird to vape. The vape experience on it isn't something that I'm like I'm used to, I guess. I'm a little bit out of my element with dual mesh and an RDA, but look, I'm determined to spend some time with it so I can give you a fair uh, a fair evaluation of it. This beer is a little bit strong. But now that that is all out of the way, uh, I've got some vape mail. It's just sitting here. It's not going to open itself. So here's what we do. Mail. So now I can't, uh, I'm really bummed about one package in this mailbox. Mailbox. Not technically it is a mailbox. I'm really bummed about one package, but I'm really excited about a few packages. And the one package I'm bummed out about is this. I saw this uh, and I picked this up at my mailbox and I thought, whoa, that's so cool. I wonder what's in there. This came from, don't even know where this came from. Alan. Alan? Alan? No? I don't know where this came from. Cajun Crafters? I don't even know where this came from. The problem is, it's empty. It's just completely empty. I picked up an empty tube from my mailbox. And that, that's the biggest bummer. That's like opening, oh, that's right, shit. See, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Thank you for calling me out, Bradley. Let's do this. That's all you get. Uh, let's get back up here. I think the last one was vape in case. All right, here we go. Gracious champion. Very cool amount. Very cool. Appreciate that. Boosh. A boosh to you, gracious champion. Red wagon. Very appreciated. Grim, we love you, but you have lint on your left sleeves and it's killing half the chat. Oh, right there. Chris, B86, evening, Grim. Hope you're having a great night. I am having a great night. I like the lint. It's part of my style. You're just going to have to learn to live with it. Uh, Sean Hooligan, how you been, man? I haven't heard from you in forever. Sup, brother? Hope you're doing good. Joe, what's your favorite metal band? Just got into the genre and need guidance? Wow, how do you even pick your favorite... M how do you even pick your favorite metal band? Is that even a... Is that even a possibility? And metal is such like a, a wide genre of music. I'm going to need some like, what have you been listening to, Joe? Like I can recommend you classics, you know, like uh, obviously I hope you're picking up some Slayer. hope you're picking up some Anthrax. But there's all sorts of genres. I mean, if you want to get into like Municipal Waste or Vector, those are both incredible bands. If you want to go kind of in a different direction, you can always dig on some In Flames. You can always dig on some Catatonia. Catatonia is probably one of, if not my favorite metal band. I just love them. The Dead End Kings album is one of my favorite things of all time. There's At The Gates, any At The Gates album, but specifically Slaughter of the Soul. Slaughter of the Soul is like the best, the best metal album kind of ever recorded ever by humans ever. I, there you go. There's a, there's a jumping off point for you, Joe. Kaylee, one more time. I get all giddy when you say, Ben, the line is rescued e-liquids and we are sending more your way. Even Benthal. What? Benthal? All right. I'm into that. Tenacious TX Vapes. Stands in the house. I love a Russian Imperial Stout. Make mouth to lung great again. Really? Make mouth to lung great again? Mouth to lung never stopped being great. Mouth to lung's always been great. What do you mean make mouth to lung great again? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding, Stan. Thanks for coming out, bro. Bradley, very gracious of you. Let's say I finally sourced a BMI Touch Purple Supreme. I love yours, although no review. Could you or the chat give me an idea of what I should pay? I think new, they're like three something. I think new, they're like three something. So I feel like if it's second hand, I don't know. You're going to be up over $100 at least, at least, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more, but that's very gracious of you, Bradley. I appreciate that. Big rig. I heard you heard about the throat infection from vaping. Yep, we're going to talk about that all in the news and advocacy. Creating with Ken. Nick, thank you for being there for the vaping community. You influenced me in a positive way and helped me stay the course. Right on. I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. You are awesome, brother. Logan, just a little yo-yo. Just a little yo-yo. Just a little one. Michelle Lynn, bud the... Stay lit, fam. Always. Poon Sauce. Vlog day, a.k.a. the best day of the week. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you, Poon Sauce. I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm working some magic. We're going to try to get myself over on the Poon Sauce uh, McNasty YouTube, uh, YouTube channel in the not, not too distant future. Not too distant future. Now, now since I've already done the bumper, let's do vape mail. We did the package. I know what this is. Let's just open this. Let's just open this because I know who it is and I know what it is. And I just, I just want to open it because it's from Coil Turd. What? What does that even mean, Coil Turd? Eat shit and find out what the other broadcast is. What? What, Beecher? What? Anyway, Beecher, yeah, thank for the coils. You know, don't care about those so much. Boule Bolu. This is where it's at, Beecher. This is where this is what this is what I'm looking for. Boule Bolu. Look at this. Two bottles. Two bottles of Bolu. And that's great because literally what's in my RTA right now represents the last of my Bole Bolu. The last of it. So I got it. And yes, I'm excited about the coils. I'm always excited about coil turd coils. That is his name after all. Coil turd. Aliens, aliens. Oh, okay, aliens. Tricore 28 gauge aliens. I'm into it. I'm into it. And uh, stickers, because you can never have enough coil turd stickers. And thank you. Oh, so cool. Awesome, Beecher. Thank you. I, 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 I love sample packs of Cotton Bacon Prime. Dude. <sighs> That's, I don't even need the Bole Bolu. I have a sample pack of Cotton Bacon Prime and stickers and about a thousand stickers. I'm just giving you shit, Beecher. I'm just giving you a hard time. I appreciate all of your generosity. You do have my K-Fun after all. Okay, well, I can't throw the stickers away. I can't look like a dick on camera. I'll throw those away after the stream. All right. Well, here we go. Wow, that was really mean. I should not have been that mean to Beecher. I apologize. That was that was uh, that was some mean stuff. Should not be that mean to Beecher. Well, we got another one from SVC Distribution. That doesn't that doesn't spark any memories. This one does not spark joy. Let's see what the included literature has to say. Hey, Nick! Exclamation points. Uh, I wanted to send you our newest re-release of Lago, pronounced Lago. Yes, so many people say Lego. Uh, it was recently reviewed by Vapun Magazine and received a four crown rating. And yes, I was excited. It is an under. Is it, yes, I was excited is an understatement. Side note: Friends of ours were at NVE in New York and noticed that you were using the green SVC mod squonker that I made for you. I'm stoked to see that you like it enough to keep it in rotation. Yeah, absolutely. I also threw in a couple extra bottles of Wago for your patrons as well. Hope you enjoy it. Love you, man. Keep doing what you're doing, Justin. SVC distribution. Kick ass. Uh, I want to come over and use your Millennium Falcon pool float. Yep. I'll add you to the list of people that want to do that. I, I love the Millennium Falcon pool float. It's kind of the best thing I've ever got. It's kind of the best thing I've ever received in my life. Oh, okay, here we go. Lago. Lago and Lago Ice. These are big, fat 120s, but there's a Lago right there. I got a bottle of Lago. We got a bottle of uh, Lago Ice. The flavor description on here 
black currant, raspberry, pear, and sweet strawberry. That's very, very interesting. Black currant, I really like. Raspberry, pear, and strawberry. Dang. All right. Well, that might be, uh, that might honestly be like a next week liquid tasting. Because I would like to, uh, I'd like to get into those. We got some uh, salt versions of them, 25 milligram salt versions of those. Interesting. I'm assuming these are going to be the, the patron ones. Yeah. There you go. Yo, yo, -ay. All right, sick. Well, shout out to uh, SBC Distro La Lago e .com. Very cool. I'm excited about that. You know, black currant's one of those flavors you don't really uh, see a lot in e liquids because it's kind of hard to do. I'm interested. My curiosity is peaked. 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 Let's keep this party going, you guys. Um, this one has very specific instructions of open on open on a live vlog. So you're just going to have to wait there, Mr. Bossy Pants. I don't let packages boss me around. I'll open you when I want to open you. And this... Oh! What? Oh, this is the one. This is the one that was in the title. This is the one that was in the title. Let me read the literature here. I'm really excited about this. Yeah. 22 millimeter diameter, drip tip, construction, salt, two mil juice capacity. Yeah, okay. This is the Reload Vapor. Reload Vapor, one of, one of just my favorite companies in the world. They just release fire products after fire products. It's just fire on top of fire. They're RTAs, they're RDAs, they're squonker, rad. I love them all. And this, this is their mouth to lung RTA. They did a mouth to lung RTA and I believe it's just called the Reload Vapor mouth to lung RTA. Yeah, it's called the MTL. 22 millimeters. There it is. Look at that little banger. Can you see it? We're going to have to do one of these jobbers. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Little 22 millimeter guy. Two mil juice capacity. That's a tiny little mouth to lung RTA. It looks like it has a top airflow. Where is the airflow? Where is the airflow? It sound, it feels like I'm sucking on a pencil. Where the crap is the airflow, you guys? I'm literally, I'm... There's no airflow on this tank. Is this, am I being punked? Did they send me a mouth to lung tank without any airflow on it? It has to have top airflow, right? Otherwise, uh, I mean, it has to have some airflow, right? Otherwise, what's the point? Um, this is an RTA that appears to have no airflow. So needless to say, I'm probably going to have to spend a little bit of time with this, but I'm not joshing you here. Josh Hand, no pun intended. I'm going to let it focus on here, and I'm just going to spin this bastard around. There, there ain't no airflow all the way around it. Maybe it's hidden. Who needs airflow when you have lint on your shoulder? That's right. DTL, down to lint. The airflow is blocked up with lint? It could be. It could be. If anything, like, I'm going to put more lint on my shirt because it's so entertaining. Where? See, there I can feel some airflow. Uh, when I have the tank apart, I can feel airflow. I am so fucking confused right now. Uh, I'm going to open another one of these just to see if it's the same. Here it is. Here's another one in gold. There just ain't no airflow. There has to be airflow, right? Okay, there it is. Oh, that's real interesting. 
Oh, that's real interesting. It's a top airflow and you unscrew this little, I don't know why I couldn't do it on that one, but you unscrew this little top piece and it exposes two little airflow holes. I found the airflow, you guys. It was hidden. Hidden airflow. Okay. I want to see how tight you can get this airflow. Ooh, real tight. Real. That's a real tight airflow. Uh. I'm just trying to put it like in the camera more so you guys can see it more better. All right. Well, the, it turns out that the airflow wasn't covered in lint. It was just hidden. It's like a secret door in your house. You know, when you like, you pull a book and it's like, -na -na -na, and you open, that was the Batman music. You open it and it's like, oh, your secret conservatory. I didn't even know it was here. All right. Reload vapor mouth to lung. That might be a thing I'm going to set up today. Whenever I'm going through my vape mail, I try to find at least a thing that I can uh, set up and vape. Although, I don't know. We might, we might bypass that just so I can spend some more time on some news and advocacy. It just depends on the time. Now, this is the bossy box that was like, open on a live vlog, open on a live vlog. So I'm like, okay, I'm just opening on a live vlog. Okay, that's super cool. Dude, that's badass. Who did that? That's like straight up death metal font. That's badass. That's badass. Should I put the lint on the microphone? Is that what people are requesting in the chat? Should I put the lint on the microphone? Should I? Is there lint in my beard? No, those are just gray hairs. Those are just gray hairs. All right. Well, I suppose I should open this... Uh, this card, because that's the coolest card I've ever seen, kind of. And I don't want to ruin the envelope, because it's so cool. Thank you. Uh, Nick, thanks for fighting for our industry. We need to do our part, and we appreciate you, friend. You are the first person to get your hands on Original Red. And we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. We want to send you five of the cool. Oh, we want to send five of the cool kids sets from the confections line. Let's make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Look, if you want to send my patrons free stuff, then I am uh, I am a hundred percent on board with that. Look how cool though. Look how cool. Axio core. Oh, this is Yogi. Okay, Yogi confection. I I'm familiar. I'm familiar. I just want to show this again because it looks like it took a lot of effort and it looked like, I don't know, it just looks really cool and it looked like it took a lot of effort. It's all right. It looked like it took a lot of lint to make that happen. A lot of lint. But there's, uh, there's hats. Okay, confection. Well, look, you know the vlog rules. I know the vlog rules, Joe. I've seen it. You've seen it. There we go. I have to wear a hat, a, a red hat, a red hat nonetheless. And then there's uh, some t-shirts and a tote bag. And then, and then we get to some confection liquids. Original red, red licorice, moist frosted lemon loaf. Dude, when you guys have a liquid called moist, you gotta realize that not a lot of people like that word of moist. Some people just don't like hearing the word moist. I don't I don't have a problem with the word moist, but some people do have problems with the word moist. The collection confection. Sick. Sick. Thank you. I'm stoked. These are all in here. American woman apple bread pudding, Fetty Pop, strawberry cake pop, moist Zuki, blueberry sugar cookie, and original red. Original red is one of those that I'm really, really fascinated to taste because there have been some really good, like red licorice types of vapes throughout the years. Carnage Animal, you know, was one of the one of the big ones. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, all right. Well, that might not even make it to a random liquid tasting. That might get put inside of a tank or an RTA as soon as humanly possible. All right, confection, original red licorice. Very, very cool. Lastly, 
Lastly, uh, something from Florida, FVS. Don't know. No idea. This is the last package, and it looks like that Reload Vapor Mouth to Lung RTA is, uh, is all on deck to get built and vaped, so that'll be interesting to do. This is a uh, bubble wrap, okay, and a, 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 a button-up, like, work shirt, Immortal Mods. Look at that shit, Immortal Mods. Oh, look, there's another hat. Should I switch the hat? I'm supposed to switch the hat if I get a hat. All right. Sorry, Confection. Here, I'll wear two. Confection can be on top, and Immortal Mods can be on the front. Hey, look at that, a new vape rag. I love these things. These are my favorite. You just clip them to your pants. These are the best. And there are some, uh, there are some pretty serious mech mods in here, you guys. We're going to take a look at these. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. RDAs? Armageddon Manufacturing? I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. Yes. Armageddon mods. Get your shine on. Okay, Wix. Okay, that. The grip. So the first thing I'm going to look at here is the grip. Immortal mods. Oh. 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 Shit. Well, would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? Well, would you just look at that? That's kind of awesome. That's kind of super badass. Ooh, I can't get the top cap off. <sighs> oh, all that for a two-post uh, goon style deck. All right. All right. Well, sick. I'm excited about this. And I like how matchy that is. Okay, let's put you away for now. And let's look at the Gripnade. The Gripnade. The Gripnade. What? Okay. Now we're getting out of hand. Now we're getting out of hand. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts? Good? Bad, inappropriate, less offensive than the Game Boy mod, more offensive than the Game Boy mod. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't really super bother me. Obviously, this is just something that you can never fly on a plane with. Never, never, ever, 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 never, never. It's not really super my style either, Katie. And that's okay because it's someone's style. And if someone appreciates it, then that's all it needs to be. That one's, uh, I have a feeling that's going to be one of them $2 sales. We got an Exile parallel box here. <gasps> wow. Dang. That's pretty sick. Like, that's kind of dope. That's full acrylic. Full, full acrylic. That's the switch right there. Look at that. Fully mechanical mech box. Dual 2700. Watch out, Aspen. There's a new there's a new sheriff in town. This is very cool. This is really bizarre that that's that's the button right there. It's got like this little this little wand. It's like a little wand. That's like a button. Shit, dude, that looks cool. That looks very, very cool. And it's parallel. Parallel. Okay, shit, that's rad. Now I'm really excited to see this last one. This is the Siege. The Siege. Immortal Mods, which I believe is Armageddon. Armageddon Manufacturing as well. Oh, that's cool. That looks pretty dope, if you ask me. Is that the grip on it? So it's like this very chromed out, like... Uh, ergonomic grippy guy it's kind of swooply shaped and then the button is this whole bar right here what is happening what a trip that's the button right there so you you kind of hold it like this 
boom, fire it maybe like that? Dude, stoked. Who doesn't love a whole mess of new mechs to fiddle with? All right, I, I, I'm really excited about these. That's very, very cool. Uh, there's also a, the a Apocalypse 25 millimeter RDA included. They threw in two Apocalypse 25 millimeter RDAs as well. And the Apocalypse, the Apocalypse was one of those RDAs that had like a real, real, real loyal cult following. Like people were just into Armageddon, into the Apocalypse. It was like ride or die, just Apocalypse. Apocalypse manufacturing, Armageddon, you know, these Apocalypse, or Armageddon manufacturing, these Apocalypse RDAs. I'm excited to try one out finally. I've never been able to, uh, to try one out. There's another one in here. What are you? Oh, you're another. You're a stainless steel apocalypse idea. Okay. Dang. All right. Cool. Well, I'm gonna put you guys in there. <gasps> Wait. There's one more box. There's one more box. There's one more box I've been saving for a week, just to open on this vlog, and I know what's inside of it. Hang on. Woo. Oh. This is what we're talking about. Turk Nation. This is a, this is a gift. This is a gift. Um, this is a gift. And I will say, let's, let me open this first. Before I make any uh, embarrassing confessions, let me uh, open this first. Easy now. Uh, almost maze season. Damn it, Turk. It is almost maize season. It's almost Turkish maize season. Oh, a whole mess of coils. All right. Dope coils. Yes. Yes. Infinite mods. Safety first. Remember, it's like living on the edge. Yeah. Uh, infinite mods. At infinite mods. Um, Turk had this mech at NVE that I was like, I was just kind of amazed by. It was... It's just really, really very cool looking mech. And he's like, dude, this is my everyday. This is my daily banger, my daily driver. Really? It's so cool. Yes. Okay, that's a sick mech. So here it is. Look at this thing. Look at that monster. Look at that. Kind of a similar-ish uh, little switch right there. Look, you just press this against the body of it. And that, my friends, is how it fires. That's how it fires. Infinite mods. It's a 20, uh, 21, 700, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong about that. No, it is. It's a 21, seven hybrid, 21, 700 hybrid. I just want to throw something on here real fast, but I don't got nothing to put on it. Maybe we'll use this instead of the, uh, yeah, so my K-Fun, it's going through a little bit of a, uh, it's going through a little bit of a thing right now. Uh, and uh, it, and by that, I mean, it's it's just getting cleaned out. It kept getting gurgly on me and I, I kept vaping it and vaping it and vaping it and it would get gurglier and gurglier and gurglier. And I kept thinking, I know, I know, I know. I need to re-wick this. I need to, I need to re-wick this and I'm sorry I haven't. I've just been neglecting it. And then it got too out of hand and so now it's sitting in my bathroom, unvapable because I waited too long waited too damn long to wick it. So I don't have the K-Fun, I don't have my Stratum Zero. And so I was gonna use my Stratum Zero for the very random liquid tasting. Of course, this is all mostly useless information right now. <laughs> mostly useless information right now. But, whoa, why is there a battery rattle? I wonder how I adjust that. I wonder how I correct that. Oh, I see how. I see how there's a screw in the bottom. I just want to get this going so that when we do the very random liquid tasting with the Turk V2 RTA, it's going to look so fucking sick on this mech. I can't wait. That's going to be baller status 9,000. But this needs to go in a little bit. Don't mind me just doing stuff that I should have done forever ago. Do I have uh, anything to screw this in with? Seriously, 
All right, you will have to work. Oh, there we go. All right. So you, you, Mr. Infinite Mods, are set up for the very random liquid tasting. We'll get to you in a second. But if we have enough time, if we have enough time, I do want to set up this, uh, this reload mouth-to-lung guy. I really, really do. So let's grab out the stainless steel. Hang on, before we get there, before we actually do that, that represents the end of the vape mail. And I've got this, I've got this little reload vapor RTA guy right here. But before we do that, let's do, uh, let's do what, what, what super chats have happened. Ready? Here's a taste. Yup, that's all you get. <laughs> Doesn't even play video anymore. It's just frozen. Super chat. No music, no nothing. Super chat. Nope, not again. That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. Shit, where did we leave off? We left off with Poon Sauce. What's up, Slack and Stormtrooper? I'm a new subscriber as of right now. I'm not into vaping, but you got me with the Stormtrooper helmet and tat. You in the 501st Legion. I am pew pew. Here's the thing. No, I'm not. I'm not in the 501st Legion, and it's because I've never owned... It's every man's dream to someday own a full set of Stormtrooper armor. Like... 501st approved Stormtrooper armor. That's my dream. That's that's my Gary V. Like, I want a Stormtrooper. I want a full Stormtrooper armor. That's why I'm not a member because I don't have the full armor. I have a I have one helmet that I don't think is 501st approved. I have the Anovos First Order and the Anovos Kylo Ren as well. But I don't think those are 501st. But welcome. Welcome slacking Stormtrooper we will always have something to talk about. You and I can always talk about Star Wars. Kate 99, this is for dad. I don't like the Kakadas. The Kakadas? Thank you almost two years vaping. Thanks to my Star Wars geek son, Scott. Shout out. Yeah, Kate, we're shouting out Scott. 800%. Max B, very gracious of you. No stratum setup. Unicorn vapes vert review soon. Yes, very soon. Yes, very soon. There's just... A lot on my plate right now. A lot on my plate right now, but very, very soon. Yo, yo, a third live show here. Yes, I'm counting. That's fine, Steve. That's allowed. Just some scratch for Papa Green. My dad's always been there for me, so I get it. Take care of the old fart. Hope this helps. Uh, it does. It genuinely does. And I really, really appreciate that very much. Uh, Sean Hooligan. Rebuild. Oh, reload build for the vlog. I know. I see, I've seen a few people voting for that. That's okay. Cody G, very gracious of you. Today marks six months off the stinkies. Awesome. Uh, Thomas Crow, one is one of reloaded MTL tanks for me. Um, you never know, Thomas Crow. You never know. Jeannie, I remembered how to say your name. No vodka tonight, so it's Moscato night. Cheers. Cheers, Jeannie. Cheers. One more. Oh, safety tip from Jeannie. Uh, quit cutting towards yourself. Love you, though. Well, I know I should stop doing that, but look, it's just so much easier, you know? <laughs> it's just so much easier to cut towards yourself. Uh, I think I'm going to throw this on the pug. I'm not sure. I, I might throw this on the pug for now. It might end up on my stratum because I think... Uh, this on the Stratum Zero with the 22 millimeter cap, I think that's going to be a pretty baller-tastic setup. So I'm just going to try to build this. It's a single coil deck. It doesn't look too difficult. I'm going to have to put a round wire build in here for sure just because the screws are real, real small. Real, real small little screws. Real, real small little screws. This is definitely going to be a round wire build. You want to guys, you guys want to see how I, you guys want to see how I still do round wire builds. I still use the coil master, uh, coil builder guy. I got my little coil buildy kit and, uh, this is what I use for round wire and it works amazing. And I even use coil master competition wire. So I'm just going to put a single coil in here. That's fine. So first step, everybody, is we cut off some wire, you know, as much as we're going to need. So we put that there, put the rest of the wire back in the package. That's fine. And then we're going to decide on what diameter. 
I'm thinking, what is this? Three millimeter? Uh, yeah, all right, let's do it. Three millimeters. So then what we do is we take our tool and we put our wire inside of it. And you kind of have this little slot right here. And you put it in there. You kind of do one of those jobbers. You find the corresponding correct hole. And then all you have to do is, ready? One wrap, two wraps, three wraps, four wraps, five wraps, six wraps, seven wraps, seven wraps. You get one going off in one direction, one going off in the other, and then you got a perfectly built micro coil right there. What did we used to call these? Contact coils back in the day, 2013, 2014, when we were just making shit up. We're like, that's contact coil. Why do you call it that? Because they're touching. Right. Makes sense. Who am I to argue with you? I'm not here to argue with you. You want to call it a contact coil? Let's call it a contact coil. So then these need to go in on either side of these screws. Seven wrap was a good call because a seven wrap is about as big as will fit in here. That's kind of crazy. Oh, my glasses are already off. So sometimes I'm nearsighted and um, I can see really well up close. So I take my glasses off to see up close rather than focus through my prescription, you know? So I take my glasses off. I can see up close just fine. But now it's getting to the point where I have my glasses off already. And then I go to take my glasses off again to see clearer. And then I realize your glasses are already off. You're just going blinder. All right. Got you in there. Now, oh, shit. All right. This is a little bit more difficult than I thought, but that's okay. I'm just going to back out this screw as much as I can without releasing it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's honestly very, 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 very K-funny. It's just, it's that situation with two screws, straight wire, straight wire, round wire, into the screw, between the screw and the wall, and you screw the wall down, and that's it. There's no... Uh, this is not set up for any any sort of fancy wire builds, Claptons, Fuse Claptons, Aliens. None of that malarkey will fit in here. None of it. This is a round wire to the bone. Well, it seems very secure. You go in now okay you are looking pretty good man i feel like that's pretty rad i might try to just push this coil down just a little bit there we go god that's so much better well the coil's installed half the work is done already see i wish uh, i wish during the vlog i had like a in uppy close, okay, okay, look, this is enough, this is enough. Two hats is too much, and look, the lint, ready? Jeremy, make it, oh, that's not lint, that's a uh, goo or jizz or something on there, I don't know what that was, it was crunchy. Sugar, I don't know, chocolate, I just, I'm a mess. Not lint, now the lint is gone. Are you happy? And it was crunchy, it wasn't crunchy. I mean, it was crunchy, it wasn't lint. Uh, atomizer short. Okay. Why? Wait, is that just you being sensitive? Yeah, it's just you being sensitive. All right, we'll do this the dangerous way if we have to. It could just be the safety limitations of the pug right there. A 7 wrap 24 gauge, though, should be uh, instantly high enough of a resistance to fire. Should be. Um, there's no shorts. It's not touching anything. It's not. It's definitely not touching anything. Yeah, this is a 0.45. Let's turn this down to three and a half. Glow it. Glow it evenly. Glow it evenly. Yep.
Boom. <sighs> don't you just love that? You can't see it. But don't you just love it when, when you install a coil and it just glows perfectly? Just like one strum and then it's just perfection. Perfection and motion. It's my favorite thing. All right, let's put away my dorky build kit. I just don't mind me. I build my dorky builds with my dorky build kit. <laughs> I still use the product from 2015. It's the Ute. It's the best build kit, and I've just continued to use it my entire life. I never learned how to build. What are you? Oh, holy shit. This is like a tool. Did this come from Reload? Who'd this come from? Oh, this came from Armageddon Manufacturing. It was like a light. There's like a light on the bottom. Ooh. And there's like a level. And then there's like two screwdriver bits up there. Oh. It's a very fancy tool. This is by far the fanciest tool that I may have ever owned. Uh, I'm definitely not going to get through this whole Dark Lord. That'd be a ridiculous undertaking to try to attempt. Ridiculous, right? I don't remember who we left off with. Don't remember who we left off with. That's okay. We'll get to the super chat in a second. Now, Beecher, where the fuck is my cotton bacon, Beecher? <laughs> oh, I'm a dick. I can't find. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that sample pack of cotton bacon right now, Beach. It's not going to waste. It's not going to waste. Look at that. One beautiful strip of cotton bacon. This is a three millimeter coil, so I'm gonna go like, well, the first thing I'm gonna go like is this. This is how I use cotton bacon. It comes in these big strips, and every big strip I get, I just cut it in half instantly. First thing I do, cut it in half. Then, then you can kind of pinch and rip, measure out about three millimeters. And that's just one of those things that comes with practice, is pinching off the right amount. So now we're going to wick it. And then uh, we're going to be using that 12 milligram again. Uh, that I think that 12 milligram uh, purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. I think we're going to be using that 12 milligram purple rain again tonight. And now this won't go back in here. Good Lord, this is awful packaging. Who runs this company? I'd like to speak to the manager. I'm just kidding. It's a strong beer. I'm blaming everything I say tonight on that beer. And then I can just stuff it back in. You're good to go. Thanks. So there's two little uh, wick capture cups kind of right there. So I'm going to... It's always better to leave yourself a little bit of extra wick when you're cutting instead of just cutting it, you know, eyeballing it and cutting it. You can always take cotton off, but you can never add cotton back. That's kind of a rule that uh, I think every vapor on earth kind of sticks to. It's always easier to take cotton off than it is to add it back. So I'm just going to put these wicks into these little tiny little catch cups. I'm assuming you can just pack it in there. I didn't like, th you know, thin these wicks out or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just doing it K-Fun style. Just doing it K-Fun style. It has been whipped. And... Wait for it. Ah, wait for it. Wait for it, <laughs> and vapors. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do, friends. Let's screw this back together. Let's unscrew this. You can fill it up this way. Three very large kidney-shaped juice fill holes in here. <gasps> Liquid fill holes. Fuck. Let's top off that two mil capacity in 0.1 second. Two mil capacity is uh, it's a, it's a low, 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 uh, low capacity tank there. Two 
Dang, that feels nice. Okay, well, what did this resistance come out to? Oh, it's a 0.3, okay. Oh, that's fine. 0.13? Oh, 0.1? No, 0.31. Ah, 0.31, okay. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see the chat and see if they're talking trash about me. I always say juice. It's juice. End of... Nope. It is it is juice, but here's the thing. I just... It's one of those terminologies I dislike. It, 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 I mean, it might... It sounds like a racial slur to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that excessive, but it's just a terminology I don't like. And I don't... And the reason I don't like it is because it's one of those words that the anti-vapers latch onto like just stink on shit they just hear you know these vape juice they say vape juice flavored vape juice i just hate that term and i hate and i hate it when antis use it and it's more because of them than the than the actual terminology itself i want to call it juice Mm. Mm. okay that beer is great So we have 12 milligram purple rain loaded up in the freshly built and freshly wicked reload mouth to lung RTA. I've got this sitting at a modest 3.3 volts on here. I've got the airflow opened up. Let's see how this mouth to lung experience is. You ready for this Stan Tenacious TX Vapes? Tenacious, Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. Make mouth to lung great again. Holy shit. That's a... That's a damn, damn, damn good mouth to lung. I want to kind of want to tighten this airflow down just a little bit. That's too much. That's too much. Uh... Yeah, uh, Katie, that is worse. Oil is worse. Oil is worse. Uh, I'm going to have a video next week. We're going to be talking about some comments that I saw on a Fox News article. Wow, people are dumb. Wow, people are dumb. That's all I have to say. Too many people call it oil. You know, those vapes have oil in them that coat your lungs. Do they? (laughs) That's so bizarre. I've been vaping for 10 years and I have no oil in my lungs. Fucking weird. I can't believe you're right about that. Yep, team volts, team volts. I hash t- I, I I I adjust in volts. In fact, I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. I don't think you know. I don't. Yeah, so let's turn it to 3.4. 3.3 volts was honestly pretty good. 3.4. This is really rocking. Flavors on point. Draws on point. These, these coil in here, this coil in here is crackly. It seems to be wicking real well. It doesn't feel like it's on the verge of going dry. Like that's my, that's my biggest issue with any RTA is I hate that feeling of like, oh, it's about to go dry. Uh, And then it never goes dry, but it just feels like you're constantly getting a slightly, like slightly dry vape. Not the case. This is wicking. This feels Nice and saturated. Nice and saturated. That's amazing. Oops, I have a bunch of text messages that I missed. So the chat is being annoyed that you won't take the lint off your lips. <laughs> okay, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> I missed the text messages. Uh, what hat am I wearing? Immortal mods? All right, we'll just leave that on there. Then that's okay. Um, really, really enjoying this. Enjoying it so much so that as soon as this stream is over, I'm going to put it on my stratum zero. Now, can just just picture it in your head of how cool that's going to look with that K-fun, on, or with that K-fun, with that reload on top of that stratum. Can you imagine it? Can you picture it? It's going to be so great. Fuck, that's going to be cool as shit. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. You guys, this reload is really good. I'm genuinely surprised right now. I, I go, 
just as a heads up to you guys, if you're new if, or if you're a new subscriber here, which I did, I, I did want to shout out all my new subscribers. Maybe I'll save that till the end. Here's some of them. But if you're new here, I look at every vape product with the exception of a few. There's a few that I just, I can't help but get caught up in the hype. You know, I'm a vapor and I, I am a, I am a, I'm a vapor first. I'm a consumer first. And I get really nerdy and geeky and I get really excited about some, some vape gear that comes out. So I get caught up in the hype. I get caught up in the hype. I'm, I'm caught up in the hype on the dang RTA, RDA, the one that Dwayne and Kent are releasing. I haven't even got to use it yet and I'm already getting caught up in that hype. I try to go into every product that ever comes across my desk with like skeptical optimism. That's the best way to describe it. I'm skeptical, but optimistic. I want it to work really well, but I'm skeptical of its ability to work really well. That's the same thing I thought when I opened this Reload Vapor RTA. I was like, I want this to work really well, but I'm skeptical of its ability to do that. That's just the way the world has made me, a skeptical but optimistic person. I am surprised. I am genuinely shocked. I'm kind of blown away by how rad the vape is from this. Don't love that Ultem drip tip, but eh, what are you gonna do? I need to get some, uh, you know, some Chiquita DHD tips on there or something. I don't think I have anything else right now that would even, uh... <sighs> my drip tips are a mess. Does any, is anybody else's drip tips just a mess? I don't, I don't know. Maybe this tiny little black one, like that'll work fine for now. Sure. As long as we get that Ultem off of there, we can have a tiny little black drip tip that look, just looks so much cooler. Wow. I am really enjoying this. Yep, yeah, that was a no. I pushed it. You guys all saw it. Don't say you didn't see it, Joe. All right, cool. Well, well, that's where we're going to leave that. Reload Vapor, mouth to lung RTA, seriously blowing me away. Seriously impressed with the quality of that mouth to lung vape. That purple rain tastes like grapey wonderfulness in my mouth. 12 milligram gives me a nice little throat hit. Mouth to lung. Mouth to lung with Freebase. Fuck Salt Nick. Sorry, not Freebase. What are we calling it? What, what's the politically correct term for Freebase liquid, even though Freebase is way more accurate? Traditional. Traditional nicotine, non salt nick, traditional nicotine. I know, Cotton Gin. If I hadn't killed the lint, those tricks would have worked. What do you mean, would have? What do you mean, would have? Anyway, loving the shit out of that. Just seriously loving the shit out of that. It's time, uh, I don't know. I I'm not really in the mood to get ragey, but. We're going to get a little bit ragey. We're going to get a little bit ragey because it's time to talk about some freaking news and advocacy. So there have been all of these reports, all of these reports, 100, what did I say? 153. Okay. You know what? Sorry. 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 Sorry, Jeremy. This is going to be a bitch for you. Super chat. <laughs> see where we left off. Uh, do we leave off with Jeannie? Quit cutting towards yourself. I know. Love you too. Appreciate that. Matt Sinister. I think the empty tube was my housewarming gift. It was delivered on Monday from Amazon. Hit me up. No, this wasn't. Uh... No, this wasn't delivered from Amazon. This is an Amazon thing. This came from Cajun Crafters. I don't even know what that means. Cajun Crafters. It was not yours. It was not yours, Matt Sinister, but I'll, I'll hit you up. I will hit you up. Appreciate that. Vaping Australian. Uh-oh, where'd you go? See, this is the difficult part of these super chats when you try to do it as they happen. Vaping Australian. Yo, yo, Nick. Much love for you and Casey. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's It's been... It's been Look, I'm trying not to be uh, too vulnerable here, but it's been a real rough time. It's, I've just been having a real rough time. It, 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 dealing dealing with life and family things are, uh, it's, it's not fun. It's just, it's just real not fun. And so I'm trying to power through, but I appreciate that. Very much appreciate that vaping Australian. Bradley, dude, you're awesome. Just know that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not, I'm not because I know 
I know who I am. When I look in the mirror, I just see Nick. I just see Nick. And I feel like I'm in seventh grade again. And I feel like this derpy little kid is like, ah, hey, I'm Nick. You guys want to watch Star Trek? <laughs> that's who I see in the mirror. But that's okay. I appreciate that. Uh, Bradley, as long as you think I'm awesome, you're awesome. Shut up, Bradley. You're awesome. Will you move Dr. Dre the Chronic to the front? Uh... Yeah, can you? Uh, right now it's Earth. Have you guys heard this Earth album? Hang on. I'm gonna do this without uh, Earth. Everyone, go buy this album. It's amazing, amazing. Uh, I don't know where Dr. Dre is exactly. Here it is. All right, fine. I found it. Damn, this is. I'm really earning this two bucks, man. Right back here. How's that? Is that better? Is that better, Bradley? Ow. Ow. Is that better, Bradley? Thank you for your $2. That was totally worth it. Cotton gin. Can we get a lint check? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm clean. Pretty sure I'm clean at this point. Vaporesso, Zach, Pizza Beard, what are you doing? Picking up the Vaporesso gin on Friday. So excited. Dude, you will love this mod. You will not be let down. This is my pick right now for just regulated mod of the year of 2019 Vaporesso gin. Vaporesso gin. Red Wagon Vapes. Bring back the lint. Lint lives matter. Look, if I had some lint, I would... Uh, I would place it accordingly, but I, I, I do not. I do not, Red Wagon Vapes. Jeffrey, very gracious of you. Been watching you since 2012. You and P. Basardo are the reason I made the switch from being a pack-a-day smoker. Thanks for all you do. Jeffrey, my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. I'm glad that I could help you in, in your journey to being cigarette-free. That just makes me the happiest. Zach, very gracious of you. It was probably Schneeko slobber on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's what it was. Uh, thanks for checking out my... Astigate... What, Jeannie? What? Thanks for checking out... I think, did you might mean to type Instagram? Did you mean Instagram? I think you meant Instagram. Rhett, Nick, wifey and I went from one pack a day of the death sticks down to one smoke per day in a week, thanks to vaping and with the help... Awesome. God, Awesome. Awesome. And you know what the messed up thing is? There are there are researchers and there are doctors out there, people like Stanton effing glance, that in that situation, if you're dual using, you're one of those dreaded dual users, if you're using vaping to cut down on your cigarettes, in that situation, they would recommend that you stop the vaping side of that. That's unbelievable. That makes me so mad. Glad, stick with it. Stick with it, Rhett. Appreciate that. Lint or jizz, uh, we still love you. Boosh, thank you, uh, Real, Carol <laughs> Real Carolina Outdoors. Vaping Australian, like that smash button. Yeah, that's right, you guys. That's something I never say because I'm a, I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a bad YouTuber. If you're here and, you, and you're enjoying what you see, sup? Just go ahead and smash that like button. Like that smash button. Either way, do one of them. I would really appreciate it. Vape in case. Dude, I love Pony on Acid. I love Yig too, bro. Yo, yo, my vape and bra. Hell yeah. Dude, Pony on Acid? Are you kidding me? Uh, Trey, to update your... Okay, hang on. There's, there's too many super chats coming in. To update your Namber Juice website to say liquid in the description instead of juice. Love you, Nick. Hope your dad is all right. Dad's doing, dad's doing well. Dad's doing as well uh, as he possibly can. I'm going uh, to save the rest of these, the Milo box. We're going to start with you the next time. Right now, I'm gonna just do the bumper again. News. Yeah. So there have been all sorts of these like uh, news articles. We've seen them. I've seen them, Joe. You've seen them. It's these vaping sickness, right? Vaping sickness. 153, 153 cases reported now across 16 different states. And all that you'll see in, in any media, most media, with the exception of a few responsible news outlets like Rolling Stone magazine, what you're going to see is vaping. 
This was all caused by vaping. These, these sicknesses, these infections in the lungs, 153 people, vaping-related respiratory illnesses, vaping-related respiratory illnesses. And when they use the term vaping, they mean e-cigarettes. But really, this is not an e-cigarette issue. And I posted this on Twitter. This is, a, this is an illicit black market cannabis issue. They're just putting a vaping label on it to create more hysteria, you know, create more of more panic, right? Vaping, it's an epidemic. It's an epidemic of vaping. It's an epidemic of people quitting cigarettes. It's unbelievable. They they associate they they tag vaping on there so that the average person, the average, you know, Karen, she just sees vaping and goes, Meh. that's right. It's probably the jewels. Probably those jewels. Those jewels should be banned. They appeal to kids and now they're sending them to the hospital. That's literally the conclusion that a lot of Americans are coming to and it, it, it just wrong. It's just wrong. Thank you, Addy, for that link in the description or in the chat. That's one of the things that I was gonna bring up as well. I have an article here from uh, the New York Times and I had to create an account and pay money to get past their ad blocker just so I could see this article, Vaping Sickness Rising, 150 cases reported in 16 states. 16 states have now reported 153 cases of serious vaping-related respiratory illnesses. And while that sentence may be true, it's not our vaping. These, these people were not vaping nicotine not in any capacity. They weren't vaping a Juul. They weren't vaping a Reload. They weren't vaping Boule Bolu out of an MTurk V2 RDA. They weren't. They just weren't. We know what they're vaping. It's been reported all over the place what they were vaping. But the article continues. In a statement on Wednesday, the Center for Disease Control, who has remained suspiciously silent the entire time that this is going on, the CDC releases a statement that says... <sighs> Who's ready to rage? You guys ready to rage? In a statement on Wednesday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said that the cases occurred in people who acknowledged vaping either nicotine or tetra tetra tetrahydrocannabinol. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Cannabinol. I can't say it. I can't say it. See, this is the reason why I couldn't go on the Joe Rogan podcast because Joe Rogan's smarter than me and he throws out that word tetrahydrocannabinol, cannabinol, fuck. Tetrahydrocan, wow, I can't say it. THC, THC, the high inducing chemical in marijuana, which we shouldn't be using that word anyway. Federal and state officials say that they are mystified as to what is causing the illnesses. Mystify. No, but that does not appear that an infectious disease is responsible. No one product or device is common among the cases, the agency said. It also was unclear whether a contaminant in a used cartridge or a homebrewed concoction of vaping liquids contributed to some of the ailments. Do you see what they did there? Did you see what they snuck in there? Homebrewed concoction of liquid. To me, that is, that's going after DIY. That's saying that, that's, that's putting it out there. That's putting the, the, the little subtle information out there in people's heads that people are mixing this at home, right? That's the problem. People are mixing their e-liquids with nicotine at home and it's, it's, I don't know, contributing to some of these ailments and they're not entirely wrong. They're just, mostly wrong. The patients, most of whom were adolescents or young adults, were admitted to hospitals with difficulty breathing. Many also reported chest pain, vomiting, fatigue. The most seriously ill patients had a serious lung damage that required treatment with oxygen and days on a ventilator. Some are expected to have permanent lung damage. Some severe cases were reported in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, and California. This is happening in Utah now. This is happening in California now. This is happening in Manchester, United Kingdom right now. Want to see what Manchester, United Kingdom has to say about this whole deal? We're going to figure it out. We're going to go to it. Oh no, where did I go? <gasps> oh no, I closed the tab. Are you kidding me? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to get this tab back. 
I'm going to get this tab back. Here it is. Manchester. It's happening in Manchester United Kingdom. Nine people in the United Kingdom in Manchester. Same exact thing. Collapsing. Fatigue. Problems breathing. Need to be on a ventilator. So here's what they have to say about it in the UK. This is the BBC News. Warning, nine collapse in Greater Manchester. Nine young people have collapsed after unwittingly using a vaping liquid containing a synthetic drug spice. They seem to have the facts already. This is exactly what is happening in the United States. And we're too dumb to see it because we could have an actual crisis on our hands of these illicit black market bootleg cannabis spice pods in the United States right now, but they're not, no one's going to see that because they're too busy pointing their finger in the other direction at nicotine vapes and jewel users. They have, they have their, their head in the sand and it makes me insane. (sighs) Health agencies have warned people to avoid products such as THC vape juice, THC vape pens, or THC oil. In the United States, they blame it on vaping. In the UK, they're very specific. THC vape juice, THC vape pens, THC oil. Greater Manchester Drug Alerts panel said it knew of six incidents since February where people have been taken to the hospital after inhaling the drug. Greater Manchester Police investigating the vaping liquid marketed as natural cannabis or being sold as cannabis oil or cannabis vape juice. It was sold in both 10 mil bottles and pre-filled cartridges. Two incidents in Oldham area left a left five school aged children collapsing and being rushed to a hospital. It's not nicotine. Nobody, I, I would bet dollars to pesos on this. Nobody at the hospital right now with a lung infection was vaping just nicotine. Not one single one of them. I 100%, I would bet my life on it. I would bet my life on it that none of them were vaping just nicotine. What they're vaping is illicit, black market, cannabis vape oil. So I did a little digging. Did a little digging into this. Dig a little, little digging into this. And I found I found this article on inverse.com. And I'm going to be posting this in the description to this video. Uh, let me try to put it in the chat right now. We're just going to read a little bit of this. We're just going to read a little bit of this. But what could be causing all of this? It's certainly not nicotine. We know that. We, They have to know that, that it's not just nicotine users. As you saw in the opener right there, Charles Gardner, one of my most most favorite people over there on the Twitter. He had to say, uh, what did he say? There are 42 million vapors worldwide, 13.8 million in the United States. Millions of Americans have quit smoking by vaping. Is it not strange that after 12 years of use, there is suddenly a cluster of lung problems in just the Midwest and no other country? Cause? Illegal street bought THC. And yes, Logan exhales. Charles A. Gardner, PhD on Twitter is my favorite Twitter account. I respect the hell out of that guy. He's just my hero. He is my hero too. It's illegal, illicit, black market, street bought THC. And it's being, it's, it's labeled as THC, but it's not. It's not anything like that. I think I just put this link in the chat. We're going to talk about dank vapes for a second. Dank vapes is the biggest conspiracy that pot can put you in a coma. Dank vapes is the biggest conspiracy in pot and it can put you in a coma. Dank Vapes has a logo. You can buy Dank Vapes t-shirts. Sales of Dank Vapes products can easily be spotted on Twitter, Instagram, or Medium. Inverse has reached out to government agencies, accounts claiming to sell Dank Vapes cannabis labs and members of the cannabis industry, and they all seem to tell a similar story, that Dank Vapes may be fake. It's a black market brand that has inspired loyalty online, but comes with a serious risk. They act like a cannabis company, but they actually don't exist. They're in the packaging industry. Mark 
Hoashi, founder of the Doja app, which is the Yelp for the cannabis industry. These people are filling cartridges as dank vapes, and it's not a singular facility. It's just people in their garages filling them and selling them. Myron Rone, the CEO of Bell Costa Labs, a cannabis testing lab in California, tells Inverse that they often see black market products that contain unsafe levels of myclobutanol. I can't believe I said that mostly correctly. Myclobutanol, a fungicide. When mitoclubinol is heated, it releases toxic fumes, one of which is hydrogen cyanide. Small amounts of HCN are released when smoking cigarettes, but larger doses are lethal. So great, this is something all of these people that are collapsing from vaping, they're just inhaling a bigger dose of something that's already inside cigarettes. So there you go. Let, let your brain candy chew on that for a bit. That was a weird thing to say. HNC was a major component of Zyklon B. Does anybody know what Zyklon B is? It's the gas that the Nazis used in gas chambers. And the only reason I know that is because Zyklon B is like a death metal band. De death metal band. Unregulated products like black market dank vapes have no one checking to see where the line is drawn. That's one of the most commonly discussed pesticides and it's definitely one that we see frequently in the underground market. Dank vapes. These are things that people just fill up with what the fuck ever, with pesticides, with spice, with K2, with cannabis, cannabis THC oils. Dank Vapes isn't a company. It's just a black market product that anybody can buy clones of or any can buy counterfeits of from China and fill it with whatever the fuck you want and then put it in a Dank Vapes packaging and sell it on the black market. These states, the United States, might actually have a serious crisis of like counterfeit bad THC cartridges out there on the market, but because the powers that be are so fucking panties in a bunch about vaping, they're just instantly blaming this on vaping. And it's, it's wrong on, on so many levels. It's wrong to tell smokers that this is what vaping is going to do to them because it's not. And it's wrong because they might have an actual problem on their hands that is getting largely ignored because they're too busy pointing the finger at vaping. They're too busy being angry at Juul. They're too busy being angry at high school students who are experimenting with vapor products. And now we have all these people in the hospital because the powers that be just have their head in the sand. It's insane to me. It's insane to me. This link about, uh, about dank vapes will be in the description. The BBC link about spice will be in the description as well. I have another link here that I believe Toonie put in the, uh, in the, in the chat as well. Tainted vape cartridges land seven Californians in the hospital. Same thing, illicit THC. If you're going to vape THC, get it from a licensed dispensary so you know that there's a certain amount of testing required. These are street bought illicit products that happen to be vaporizing. And I, I've talked about this with uh, Angela Garrity. Shout out to Angela Garrity. It's a verb. Vaping is a verb. Vaping is just the method. You can vaporize lots of things, medicines, medications, Cannabis, tobacco, nicotine, lots of things can be vaporized. Vaporizing is just the method. It's a verb, it's the vessel. But when they say vaping, they don't mean the adjective of vaping. Adjective? It's not an adjective. They don't mean the verb of vaporizing. They mean vaping. They mean like vaping e-cigarettes. And there needs to be a very clear distinction between what is happening right now with illicit black market garage filled THC cartridges from dank vapes and the lab filled tested pods that you would get in a vaporizer. They're not the same. They couldn't be further from the same but they want you to think it's the same 
because they don't want people vaping. I mean, that's what this comes down to, right? We're fighting constantly in the United States to just allow people to vape. It's like, just let us vape. This is something, speaking from the time machine, this is something that we're going to talk about on the future Sunday episode of the Culture of Clouds podcast, but just let us vape. That's the thing. Just let us vape. I don't even care. I don't care about any judgments. I don't care if someone sees me vaping and they think it's THC or they think it's a cigarette. I don't fucking care because it doesn't matter to you. I don't have to justify anything I do to you. To you, Mr. Karen. I don't know why I always use the name Karen. It's just become one of those like, apologize to anybody named Karen in the chat or here watching. Karen's one of those like, you know, I want to speak to the manager, Karen. Maybe I'll say Dave. What I do is of no concern to you. Maybe I'm smoking a cigarette over here. Don't care. Fuck you. Maybe I'm vaping. I don't care. I don't have to explain myself to you. Fuck you. I don't have to, I don't I don't have to justify that because I'm a free adult American and I should get to decide what I put in my body. Vaping is just the verb. And the world needs to realize that. Elected health officials need to realize that. It makes me insane when they say, caused by vaping. Well, like, yes, technically they're right. It was caused by vaporizing horrible chemicals. If you want to call that vaping, yes, it's, it's vaping. It's technically vaporizing, but it is not, not, not a nicotine e-cigarette. And this is the only time in my life that I ever remember saying, like, e-cigarette is a positive term and vaping is now a bad term because now at least we can differentiate between vaping, the verb of vaporizing, vaping versus using an e-cigarette, a nicotine only electronic cigarette. I, I'm an e-smoker. I use e-cigs. I don't vape anymore. Sorry. Soccer mom, Karen, Addy. It's just enough to make me insane. So I'm, I'm going to throw some links into the chat. I'm going to throw some links down in the description down below where we can read up on all of this together. If you're on Twitter, I would highly, highly recommend following Charles A. Gardner, PhD. He goes by Chauncey Gardner over there. I follow him. Everybody should be following him. There is a slew of advocates over there on Twitter. And I posted a tweet about this the other day. It's just the same thing over there on Twitter every single day. Anti's attack. Tobacco harm reduction advocates attack. Antis attack. Tobacco harm reduction advocates attack. And we need more tobacco harm reduction advocates on Twitter. We need an army of THR advocates on Twitter. Logan knows what I'm talking about. Logan, you're on Twitter. You've been on Twitter. <laughs> you fight the government on Twitter. Um, yeah, so get on Twitter. Uh, and if you're not on Twitter, then then just don't be on Twitter. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention here real quickly in the news and advocacy segment, CASA, CASA.org. I love CASA.org. They're one of my favorite organizations in the known universe. They do a lot for vaping. Um, they are sending out a brand spanking new email blast that has been one of the most helpful things for me that I, I genuinely, genuinely love it. I'm not a fan of like spam email. Exactly. <clears throat> Let me clarify, Daniel Jones, polite and professional advocates on Twitter, please. No obscenities. No, uh, you, you don't go on there and call Jerome Adams a fuck stick. You don't do, you don't do that on Twitter. We are polite. We are professional and we speak with science and facts. That's how we do this. That's how we do this over there on Twitter. But CASA has a brand new uh, uh, email blast that goes out. If you're a member, you've already been getting this. If you're not a member, sign up to get this email. Not only when you sign up for CASA, which is free, by the way, costs you zero, unless you want to donate, which you should definitely donate. We should definitely be donating to CASA as much as we possibly can. It's free. You sign up with an email. Not only will you get calls to action in your particular city, area, or state. This is something I used to talk about in the 510 report when that was around. Don't remind me. Don't remind me of the failure of the 510 report. But when the 510 was report was around, this is something I pimped on there constantly. Join CASA. It's free and easy, and they give you calls to actions. If you're in Billings, Montana, is that a place? 
Is Billings, Montana an actual place? If you're in Billings, Montana, and there's a, a flavor band coming up, Casa will let you know. If you're in uh, Ogden, Utah, and there is a whatever band coming up, a 30% tax coming up, Casa will let you know. And in addition to that, they're now sending out this weekly newsletter that I love that is basically a, a, like a time capsule of everything that happened that week in vaping. All the studies that came out, all of the news articles that came out, both positive and negative, and they have commentary on negative things, commentary on positive things, and it literally, literally gets you up to date. I am on, and look, I am on Twitter constantly, constantly, hours and hours and hours every day. I know, stepping up my geography game, Jeremy. I'm on Twitter hours and hours every day. I'm constantly reading news articles. I'm constantly reading studies. I read every article that comes across, everything that everybody emails to me, everything I see on Facebook, everything I see on Twitter. I am deeply steeped in all things vape legislation and advocacy. And there are things that I get from this Kassan newsletter that I had no idea about, no idea about. And so for the average person that wants more information, like what's going on, what studies are happening, what news is happening, how does this news and studies affect me, sign up. Just sign up for CASA. You have to sign up, get these newsletters. It's unbelievable. They're, they're fantastic. I think there's some links in the descriptions. Uh, thank you to Angela Garrity for, get, for putting those out there. Thank you to CASA for, or uh, Daniel Jones for putting those up there. Sign up. The, these emails are genuinely, genuinely helpful. There's not many emails that I look forward to, but these CASA ones have been just a wealth, a wealth of information. And especially if you're not even, like if you're not on Twitter and you're not on Facebook and you don't see these news articles happening and you don't see these conversations happening, CASA will tie them all up in a bow and send them to your inbox and you can just absorb all this information. I think it's fantastic. Shout out to CASA. I'm gonna pause the vlog right now. Have a sip of the beer. Everybody go join CASA. There you go. Danielle Jones just clicked the link. Nope, we're running out of time. Holy shit. It's 619. <sighs> Fuck, it's 619. All right, uh, the super chats are to blame for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the retro vaping. I apologize. Retro vaping right out the window. Sorry, no retro vaping this week. We're going to have a retro vaping next week. In fact, we're going to have a very special retro vaping next week because next week we're going to have a very special guest here in this office with me to vlog for the whole two hours. It's going to be awesome. Start speculating now as to who it's going to be. We'll see who it's going to be. Let's do some... Uh, we're going to end this with, I'm going to answer some of the super chats and then we're going to do this very random liquid tasting because I can't think about anything else. Ready? Super chat, frozen. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Now, holy crap, where did I leave off? Uh, Rhett, Real Carolina Outdoors, the vaping vaping case, uh, the, mil, the Milo box, the Milo box. All right, we're starting with the Milo box. Hey, Nick, yo, 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 Milo Vapes, uh, the proof for my double four millimeter build in my Faro drip tank is 11 rows down on my Instagram boosh proof, you say. Yeah, I, I want proof of this, Milo Vapes. I want proof. I want evidence. I want evidence. I'm going to find you. Milo. Oh, this is taking too long. Vapes, I know I've seen you on there. <sighs> 11 rows down, good Lord, what do you want me to do? Uh, Oh, okay, is this the picture you're talking about? Four millimeter, there it is, that's the picture. That's 100% the picture. All right, fine, that's a dual coil four millimeter in the Faro, our drip tank, Faro drip tank. Appreciate that, Milo. Uh, James, what what is the big deal? Since when did it become a crime to say vape juice? Randall, clerks too. Since when did it become a crime to say vape juice? No, it's cool. We're bringing it back. <laughs> Bradley, uh, yes, way better. Sorry about your knee. That's fine. You know, it was worth it if uh, if you're pumped, Bradley. Uh, Brad had shoulder surgery yesterday. Any meds? And my meds knocked me out. Missed most of the vlog. Boo. Still gonna like that smash button. Yeah. 
Everybody take Brad's advice and like the smash button. Really appreciate that. Elliot, I'm three weeks tobacco free. Went from one pack a day to zero. I'm sorry, that's just not good enough, Elliot. You are only an anecdote. Your story doesn't matter because you're just an anecdote. And if that upsets you, then I got some news for you. For British eyes only, initiate Alex Jones voice. Look, Nick, you've seen it, I've seen it. Vaping is directly causing an interdimensional shift of the brainwaves of teens. We know it. We know it, Joe. (laughs) Anthony, very gracious of you. Purple rain, purple rain. Love the new attitude. Just feels like you've taken the gloves off. Nice to see the fire vape what you love. Thank you, Anthony. And what I love is some purple rain. This reload RTA is legitimately awesome. (coughs) It's fine. I vape. I vape all the... (coughs) I vape all the time. I vape all the time, you guys. I promise. All right, Anthony. Uh, Now let's, okay. This is too long. The vlog's too long. Quick, quick, liquid, go. So this liquid is called a fresh... I've never seen this bottle before in my life. Fresh Diner Delight or Dinner Delight? I think it's Diner Delight because it says it is a uh, blueberry. Listen to this description. This is a, this is a kind of an amazing description. Blueberry and cream stuffed French toast with syrup. What? Blueberry and cream stuffed French toast with syrup? Is it just me or does that sound like way too many flavors going on there? Where's Wayne? Where's DIY or die? Is that too much? Is that too many flavors going on there? Oh, look, it smells honestly pretty good. Let's give it a little bit of a knuckle test here. Wow. Dang. All right, not bad. So, like I said, I've got this uh, Infinity Infinity Mods. Am I wrong about this? Infinite Mods. Infinite Mods. Damn it. Infinite Mods with a Turk V2 RDA on top. I'm going to saturate these coils up nice and good-like. And then we're going to vape this juice. And I always find it very entertaining that every blueberry juice that I have ever had... I said juice. I said it twice. I said it three times. I find it very interesting that every blueberry liquid I've ever had in my entire life has a slight blue hue to it. Not like Vaporgate blue, but like a slight blue hue. Yeah. It's firing. And the way that you fire this is you just squeeze it. That's kind of bitching. It's kind of like the uh, purge uh, slam piece, you know, that slam piece. Isn't that what it's called, the slam piece? I have one of those still that I'm just uh, I'm waiting to give it away. Waiting to give it away. So, boom. How fucking cool does that look? That's just cool as shit, Turk. Look at that Turk V2 Stay Gold uh, DHD Chop Top on there. Infinite Mods, black on black on gold on black. God, I just, I feel like M-Turk now. Like I need to grow a beard, learn how to build coils and move to Jersey. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. 626, that's fine. We have a few more minutes. After this, we're just going to finish off the Super Chats and we're going to do my favorite comments of the week. Fresh... Vape goods, fresh vape goods, dinner delight or diner delight. I can't quite tell. Anyway, let's ha- let's just have the inaugural toot, as it were. Whoa! All right. A uh, lot, lot going on in this liquid. So uh, what I'm going to do is what I do all the time. I, I'm only going to give it about a minute or so here, but uh, I'm just going to sit back and vape this for a little bit so I can kind of come back and speak to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is this.
Okay, okay. Fuck pods, chase clouds. So here's where I'm going to land on this liquid here. Fresh vape goods, dinner delight, is a blueberry and cr- and che- gr- blueberry and cream stuffed French toast with syrup. So here's what I'm getting out of this liquid. I'm getting some blueberry for show. Blueberry all over the place. Pancake, kind of. It's kind of like a French toasty pancake kind of thing. It's mostly blueberry. It's like 90% blueberry and then a little bit of like French toast pancake. It's like blueberry, French toast pancake. I can't get any like maple syrup cream out of this really. It's good, but it almost tastes like it almost tastes like a soda. Like it it reminds me of like a blueberry cream soda or something. I don't think of like a blueberry breakfast item when I'm tasting this liquid. It tastes like a blueberry soda to me, which is to say it's not bad. It's just it's just not what I was promised by the flavor description in any capacity. Yeah, Jennifer, it is a little bit plasticky. It's got a little bit of like a plastic flavor to it. I thought that was just me. It is a little plasticky. It's like a blueberry bakery. It's like, it kind of tastes like a blueberry donut. Like Jennifer said, it kind of tastes like a blueberry donut a little bit. Kind of tastes like blueberry donuts a little bit. Yeah, I know that pods aren't cool, but I also have a sticker with the jewel with the line with a slash through it. So it's whatever. (laughs) Pods aren't cool. But I will defend to the death their right to be on the market because as Ruby Rue pointed out, they will help smokers. They do help smokers. Oh, that might be a little bit better, Danielle. That might be a little bit less offensive. Puff pods, chase clouds. Mm. It's just not as fun. How about this? Everyone vapes what they like. Wow. No, I'm going to, I'm going to make a fuck pods chase clouds shirt. That's what I decided. I'm going to gatekeep vaping. (laughs) It's good. It's good. And I like it. It's just not what I was promised. It's not a blueberry cream filled French toast with syrup. It's a blueberry. It's a blueberry bakery bakery donut blueberry bakery donut that's the only way i can describe this that's the only way i can describe this so there you go if anybody's interested fresh vape goods dinner delight diner delight diner delight or dinner delight i can't quite place it but it's blueberry bakery like a little wick a whisper of bakery just a ah, bakery. Yep. Yeah, that'll happen. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is uh, let's do favorite comments of the week. Let's do favorite comments of the week. Dinner, as in the meal you eat at night, is two ends. So this is definitely diner delight, not diner delight, not dinner delight. It is diner delight. Diner is the place you eat dinner. (laughs) Thank you, Danielle. Diners are the place you eat dinner. Let's get into some favorite comments of the week. So this first favorite comment of the week. Oh yeah, I'm up here now. Comments of the week are down there. First favorite comment of the week is a question from, uh, from Tommy G. It's actually an email. And I'm hoping that you guys recognize this because I can't figure it out. He says, do you recognize this mech mod and dripper? I can't figure it out. There there it is. Does anybody recognize that in any capacity? I have no idea what that is. I want to say the dripper is from VHO, from Vapehead Origins. Either way, it's old. It's really old. This might be... ah, Shit. It might be a, it might be a full VHO vape head origin setup from the Philippines. The RDA 
definitely looks familiar to me. You think it's a hobo, Scott? Could be a hobo. I thought the hobo was smaller than that. No, that's not the Magneto. That's not the Smoke Magneto, Jeff. I think the Smoke Magneto was uh, was not that. It didn't have that like, uh, you know, media blasted finish on there. It looks like the Kangertech K100. Could be. the Okay, Trident. The Vapist, I think, has got that right. That might be the Trident RDA on top. That might be the Trident RDA. Yeah, R- Travis, good call. That could be the Trident RDA. I have no idea about the mech mod. It's an atomic mod with a Trident dripper. Okay, so that's Trey. That's Trey's official answer. It's a, an atomic mod with a Trident dripper. That very well could be. <sighs> that very well could be. It's a Trident for sure. Trident RDA, what was the mech? Atomic mod, an atomic mech with a Trident. Yeah, I was gonna, didn't VHO make the Trident? Am I wrong about that? Could be wrong about that. Well, anyway, I I hope that helps out. I hope that helped out their, uh, their, uh, their uh, Tommy G, Tommy G. I didn't recognize it, but it appears to be a Trident and an atomic. Helios RDA. Helios RDA. Hmm. That could be a thing. Second favorite comment of the week. Doug Frazier commented last week and said, hot dogs with peanut butter, bro. Hot, hot dogs with peanut butter? Hot dogs with peanut butter? Look, I love peanut butter, but damn. damn. Hot dogs with peanut butter? I might I might have to pass on that, Doug, although I appreciate your enthusiasm. Here we go. We got a, we got a favorite comment of the week here from Alexis. Uh, hey, Nick, how are you? I just wanted to share something. Vaping here in the Philippines is quite critical now. The government has a plan to ban vaping complete here in our country. It's a sad news if they completely ban vaping, especially our country is well known for our high-end products. Hoping that you see my comment. Uh, Alexis... I don't know what I can do for the vapors of the Philippines other than to raise awareness. If you're in the Philippines, if you're here now and you're in the Philippines, if you're watching this on the replay and you're in the Philippines, things are bad. Things are bad there. Things are bad here. Things are bad in India. Things are things are bad for vaping in a lot of places. But as I've always said, and I will continue to say, they cannot run from the science forever. They're going to try like hell to do it though. And they're going to try like hell. As Dr. Drew said, they're going to try like hell to find something wrong with these, but they can't. They will not be able to. They're putting all these graphic warnings on cigarette packs now. Smoking causes lung cancer and a picture of cancer-ridden lungs. That warning would never be on a bottle of e-liquid. It could never be on a bottle of e-liquid, and they know it. They know that they could never put that warning on a bottle of e-liquid. But the Philippines, yeah. Yeah. Lots of Hemo stuff, lots of high-end mods, lots of high-end products. Shit, I remember in 2014, if you didn't have a device from the Philippines, then shit, you might as well have not even been vaping. Philippines, high-end mods, VHO, I believe was, you know, VHO, I've been talking about them like crazy, MVC, yeah, MCV Max in the Philippines, awesome gear, awesome gear. Well, anyway... Appreciate that. Let's do uh, McLotnick45. Uh, 10 years, you are the same. You just talk to the camera like it's your friend. I love that. <laughs> Keep it going. You know, I don't know. That's just, when I started doing YouTube videos, that's just, that's just what I did. Uh, it felt weird. It felt weird. It still feels weird because I'm just in my office right now. Alone. And I'm just sitting here. And I'm just waiting, I'm just streaming, and I'm waiting for Pickle to get home, and I'm talking to the camera. And it's just weird. And and you know, I I, I did a bunch of weird stuff for a real long time, and I I changed my review style, and I did like all this stupid shit that I shouldn't have been doing. And now I'm back to just talking to the camera, and I just love it. I'm getting back to my roots, you guys, getting back to my roots. Let's do a fifth favorite comment of the week here. Cyman. Okay, so Cyman was really upset. He said, do, this is from my uh, liquid drawer video where I, where, I, where I cleaned out my liquid drawer. 
it was really awkward. He said, do yourself a favor and never do that again. Might as well smoke cigarettes at that point. Throw that liquid away. If you have sentimental value, drain the bottles and keep them in a special place. So no, first of all, Simon, uh, thank you for your, your com comment. You don't get to tell me what to do with my liquid. I get to do whatever I damn well please with my liquid. If I want to leave my liquid in a drawer for five years, I, that's I can do that. And I can vape it after five years. It'll be fine. It's not, there's no, if old liquid is not even close to the equivalent of a cigarette, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? So no. I, I'm going to keep my liquids and I'll probably do another juice drawer video in the future when I need to clean it out again. Last and final favorite comment of the week, Big Hill Bomber back again. I hate disposable anything. I don't even buy disposable toilet paper. Wait. Wait, what? What else exists? You have to buy, you have to buy disposable toilet paper. That doesn't exist. All right, we are already nine minutes past. So we're gonna show this frozen super chat graphic a couple more times. There it is. There it is. Super, soupy, soupy at, soupy at. We're gonna finish off these super chats, you guys. Really appreciate everybody coming out tonight. This has been, uh, this has been fantastic. This is just one of my favorite, uh, favorite vlogs of all time. Where did I leave off? Where did I leave off? Here we are. The vaping Australian facts. Bears eat beets. What? Bears. Beets. <laughs> Question. What kind of bear is best? Well, there are basically two schools of thought on the subject. <laughs> Fact. Bears eat beets. <laughs> good shit, vaping Australian. I love, uh, I love a good office reference. Eifer. Hey, Nick, sorry I missed 99% of the vlog, but I just wanted to say hello. Also, do you want me to send God No by Penn Jillette audiobook? What? Yeah, 100% I want to listen to that. Penn Jillette, uh, Penn Jillette from Penn & Teller is one of my heroes of all time. I know they should say never meet your heroes, but I met him twice and he's just the greatest guy. I, I love this guy. I and I say, I've said this before and I'll say it again right now. There wouldn't be a Grim Green without Penn Jillette. And he might not even realize that, but there would not be a Grim Green without Penn Jillette. I just want to say that. Penn Jillette's one of my heroes, and I would love to read his book, Eifer. Thank you. And, and then by that, I mean, yes, yeah, send it to me. I mean, I'm taking you up on that offer 100%, bro, Hamian Rhapsody. Evan Sanders, very gracious of you. Longtime fan, brand new patron. Welcome. Let me be the first to wish you a very happy yo yo. Thank you for being a torch in my vaping journey. That is that's awesome. That's perfect. I love that analogy. I'll be a torch in your vaping journey anytime. Uh, $5 for your juice swear jar. See, Big Oaks, you made me say it again, man. That wasn't a sip. That was like a wuss sip. Let's really get the beer going. Uh, I, for one more time, can we get a fuck pods chase clouds shirt? Yeah, we can. We definitely will. On the back of the shirt, it should say, just kidding, vape whatever you want. There you go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Gates open. Come on in. Sinister. The blotto on the mech is the best. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck carrot cake? Get out, Matt. Out. I will not have anti-carrot cake people in this chat. You either like carrot cake or you're wrong out. I'm not even joking, Matt. I know you're a patron too. And I'm deleting, <laughs> I'm deleting <laughs> your patron patronage. I definitely won't do that. Anyway, Matt Sinister, appreciate that. I, for one more time, if anything in the liquid, probably, if anything, the liquid probably has less Nick in it now. Yeah, exactly. Is that true? Is that a true thing? I don't know if that's a true thing. I don't know enough about nicotine to, uh, to argue with you there, Eifer, but, uh, I appreciate your, uh, your input there. So here we are, you guys. We've reached the end of the vlog. We've won Ray overtime. Ray overtime? I'm blaming that on the Dark Lord. And look, I can't not finish Dark Lord because it's Dark Lord. People have paid $180 for a bottle of this beer, and this is all I have left. And no, I'm not going to chug it right now. I'm going to sip it and enjoy it 
while I watch That's What She Said that's on in 15 minutes. That's what she said over there on the Ruby Root channel. They have Jennifer Berger Coleman on the show tonight, you guys. J-B-C. J-B-C. One of my advocacy heroes. One of just my favorite people on... On this planet, JBC, she's gonna be on the uh, she's gonna be on the That's What She Said show. They're starting over there in about 15 minutes on the Ruby Roo channel. Let me take one quick look and make sure I didn't forget anything, which I know I know I definitely did. Uh, no, you know what? I think we're good. I think we're good. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you, seriously, so much for coming out. I love the vlog vlog day is my favorite day of the week. I look forward to this. I think about it all week long. I think of little little segments, little things, little openers, comments of the week. I prepare my beer. I get all excited. It's like I get all excited for it and it's here and, and, and then it's gone before I know it. And then that's it. And now I'm sad again. Until next week, I'll see you back here. Same time, same channel for vlog day. Again, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping.